Right up there. It's time to move everything into the greenhouse. We got snow in the forecast about a week from today. And I have a lot of plants that I'd like to uh, just get in here and get cleaned up. For now, I'm just gonna find places to make sure I can fit everything. I've got I've got one, two, three shelves that I'm gonna fill up. I'm gonna start with the, the little guys up on the top shelf. Here we go.
seen, I've uh, created some space for my plants and I promptly filled it right up. Uh, this is about as much as I can fit in here right now, but chances are throughout the winter I might bring in some more material that needs a little bit more protection and it's possible it could go on the ground. But actually, if anything, I'm going to uh, be consolidating one direction a little bit so that I can have a little bit of working table here. I'm going to try to keep my workspace on the other side uh, available if I can. Um, who knows, down the road I might have to build even more shelves in here. It's starting to run out of a little space. Yikes! Well, that was it for today. It was a fun little project to keep me warm out here. Uh, the snow is coming a little bit soon. <sighs> my breath is clouding up a little bit in here. Uh, so it is, it is an unheated greenhouse until I put a, a space heater in it, and that's just to, to keep my legs warm while I'm out here working during the winter time. Uh, snow is not too bad around here, so hopefully when the snow does come it, it won't uh, collapse my roof. I have had as much as almost two feet of snow out here and no issues with the roof yet, so hopefully that continues. Uh, I do need to replace some sections though. It gets a little leaky in here. So all of my most precious plants have come in. And it's either a plant that uh, I, I want to make sure it doesn't break out in the cold or it has a decent pot that I'm afraid will break out in the cold. Um, also, I have a, a couple of these maples in particular are a dwarf variety of maple and they, uh, they do tend to die back a little bit during the winter time. So I'm just going to protect them in here because I've worked on uh, the ramification for, for many a year on some of these maples. I um, also have some Kingsville boxwood over in the corner that I just want to make sure I, I protect enough from the, the snow and uh, flying debris also. Those have taken about 23 years to get to this little 12, 10 to 12 inch size and it would be a shame to break off too much more of that too. I am working on those to style them and I'm getting uh, cuttings as much as I can out of those. Uh, what else do I got going on here? Uh, up at the top is mostly um, junipers. The junipers are probably just fine out in the weather, but some of these are ones that I've uh, actually done some recent work on and I just want to give them enough protection from the super cold that they can heal properly. It's just a little bit warmer in here for them, so a little bit better um, winter protection. i got a lot more projects in the pipeline. Uh, hopefully I, I'll make a, enough space for me to work on some of those during the winter. Uh, some styling. And depending on the weather, um, if it holds out, I might do a little bit of uh, fall um, repotting sort of activity on some plants that can handle it. None of the um, deciduous trees. Those are, I'm going to wait till spring. There's no use doing that right now. Thank you for watching.